Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Coins and Crafts. This is the recap of the live stream that we had today. Um, we went through um, a total of two boxes of nickels. Um, and uh, the first box was very exciting. Um, the second box, not so much. Um, so we're going to cover the second box first. Um, because uh, it wasn't it wasn't super great, but... We still found some stuff. So, um, in the uh, foreign coins, we found a 2009 um, Canadian. There's that one right there. So, it's this one's still in, in good shape. There we go. Um, we found uh, lots of 50s and some 40s. And uh, what was the best thing about the box is we end up finding a buffalo. It is a dayless buffalo. Um, I can't, uh, I can't get a date off of it. It is a Philly. It's not a San Francisco, San Francisco mint, um, or Denver mint or anything else. But uh, it's it's still cool to find a buffalo. <clears throat> then we get in the into the first box. The first box was about nineteen shades of crazy. Um, so for the foreigns, um, and the whole reason why I started a live stream was just because of the, of the, uh, deal, number of different coins that, um, that we were finding. Um, so for the Canadians, uh, I found an, uh, an 83 and an 87. My camera is going to focus today. I was having some troubles with it earlier. So 1983, 1987, and then this last one is a 2000 Singapore, and it's a 20 cent, uh, 20 cent piece from Singapore. I knew that this one was going to be foreign um, because the edges were uh, uh, were ribbed right there versus a, a just a flat edge. Um, so we got Singapore and Canadian uh, Canadian coins. Um, we also found uh, a bunch of 50s and a bunch of 40s. Um, and we found about two times more 50s um, in the second box than we did the first box, um, as indicated by these two stacks here. Um, this is the first box here, and this is the second box here. And there, there was a ton. Um, the really cool ones um, that we came up with was um, we found a proof. So this is a 1973 S. Um, this one is, has obviously been in circulation uh, pretty pretty hard. Um, the fields are pretty scratched up, um, but it is a proof nonetheless. We found two silvers. Um, both of them are 1943. So the backs of them, um, this S is really, really worn. Um, so it's been heavily circulated. Uh, you can see how smooth it is, uh, but it does have the S right here. Um, this 1943, there's a bunch of stuff on the back um, that it looks like it's some kind of um, something that may come off with some soap and water. Uh, I'm not going to try to scratch it off or anything, but I looked under the scope, and it looks like that there's a P up there. Um, so that would be a 1943 S and a 1943 P. Um, we found uh, this one right here. Uh, which is the first 2018 Denver nickel that I have found in circulation. I've been looking for these. Uh, we found this 2009. This is a 2009 Philly. Come on. There we go. 2009 Philly. So usually I find the 2009 Denver's. Then, then there was this one. This is the like the the grand of all uh, beefcakes. Um, this is a 1936 Philly that I pulled out of this box, and if you look at the the detail that is still left on this coin, um, this is amazing, amazing detail left. Uh, so I'll flip it over, and I wish I had better lighting so you guys could see the amount of mustard that this thing has. 
like look at all the detail like this has barely been worn um, the five sands is super crisp all of the detail on the buffalo is clearly there um, yeah like this thing has seen little little wear um, uh, since this thing was was minted I am, I am surprised to find something in that in this good of condition especially the date um, because that date area is one of the high points on the coin and it usually catches the most wear and that thing will be completely worn down um, so yeah this is an amazing amazing find uh, so that was the two boxes of nickels I'm gonna go through and sort all these out um, like I did um, uh, the previous coins but I just wanted to do just a quick uh, recap on uh, well kind of quick uh, recap on these two boxes and the the coins that we found um, so stay tuned uh, I'm looking to do some more uh, some more live streams on uh, specifically nickels uh, so stay tuned for those and uh, make sure that you guys uh, like this video and put it in the comments in the comment section below uh, click that bell icon so you guys are notified when I upload uh, new videos and I'll see you guys on the next one